Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today the first of the Rogue outfits is now here in the Division 2. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the lead up to this latest Vanguard season for the game, the devs dropped some surprise info that outfits for each of the five Rogue agents from the Warlords of New York expansion would be rotating their way through availability throughout the duration of this season. So, that includes the likes of James Dragoff, which we're going to look at today, as well as Vivian Conley, Theo Parnell, Javier Kajika, and of course, Aaron Keener himself. The majority of people, from what I saw, were extremely excited for these outfits to make their way into the game, and so, because we have the first one here today, I wanted to make this quick video to showcase you what the outfit looks like, as well as let you know what the full time for its availability is, so that if you do want to pick it up, you don't miss it. So, hopefully that sounds good, and if you enjoy quick and consistent updates on The Division 2 like this, then be sure to click that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go. Alright, so upon logging into the game for the latest update on Tuesday, February 20th, this is how you're going to find the outfit. All you need to do is go into your menu, go down to apparel, go to the store here, and at the very top right you'll see there's a limited time bundle, and that is that of James Dragov. Now the very first important thing I want to point out, as you can see up near its name at the top right, there is a limited duration that this outfit and overall bundle is available. And I've already been getting a lot of questions from people about how do I get the recruiter outfit, how do I get the see no evil helmet and mask that was in the store. How these bundles work is that once they're gone, there is no guarantee when or if they will rotate their way back into availability. So if you want this, be sure to pick it up within the next two weeks, and that's why I really wanted to make this video and why I likely will for all the ones moving forward is that once they're gone, they could be gone. But that said, let's take a look at what we got here. Before we look at the skin itself, you can see the overall price for this bundle is going to be 1480 premium credits. That is if you uh, want the full thing. There is currently a discount, as you can see, of 20% there on the side. You can do the math and the calculations for what that might turn out to be. There is also one weapon skin you get with this before we take a look at the rogue outfit skin itself. It's a Wall Street one. Looks pretty cool with the, uh, <laughs> the bull and the bear with the stocks going up and down. That's pretty cool. But this is the star of the show, the James Dragoff uniform. And I have to say, this thing looks pretty sick. I'm really loving the amount of detail that's on this. It also puts the arm patch down on your uh, forearm and wrist almost. And that's pretty cool. I don't think we've ever seen that on a skin in the division before. But yeah, this looks very true to form, I would say, to what the Dragoff uniform looked like in game. The detail on there looks sick. It is a uniform, so you have to put on the entire outfit at once. There are not individual pieces. But yeah, between the rogue watch on the belt, like I said, the patch going on the forearm there, just the overall level of detail in the padding and the plating around everywhere, I think this skin looks really awesome. And as I said, you can pick this up individually for 830 premium credits. I think that's not too bad, given the quality of this item. I know a lot of people were very frustrated by the recruiter's price when it was, what, over $20? This is under 10 so I feel like that's pretty fair. But yeah, that's the Dragov bundle. And there you have it, everybody. That is your look at the first rogue outfit making its way into the Division 2, of course, that of James Dragov. I think this thing looks awesome, and after seeing the quality and just overall look and design of this outfit, I can't wait until we get to some of the other ones, and especially Keener himself, that thing is going to be sick. But with that said, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the composition and design of this first Rogue outfit, and is it something you think you're going to be picking up? With that said, that's going to do it for me today. Everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold, out.